Chinese AI unicorn Moonshot released an open source model Kimi K2 that outperforms DeepSeek V3, Quinn 3, 235B, and Chat GPT 4.1. It's behind a bit compared to Claude 4 Opus across various benchmarks, but also beats it in a few. So this includes the SWE Bench Verified, Live Code Bench, Benchmarks for Tool Use, and then Math and STEM where it leads in a couple of the benchmarks here. Diving into Kimi K2's capabilities, let's look at its agentic AI. This can be enabled with its deep research feature. It doesn't just answer questions, it can handle multi-step tasks and go for extended sessions. All of this right here are tasks that it executes and you can see it making decisions based on the prompt and the research that it's found. So for example, you can look at this result right here. It's piecing together the tech stack for the prompt that I submitted, looking at React.js, Node.js, OpenAI's API, etc. When you submit a prompt, the cool thing about Kimi K2 is it asks you clarifying questions to direct the execution of the task. Answer all of the questions, some of the questions, or just click include all of the suggestions. But here's an example that uses the default K2 model without deep research. This is the same prompt that I use to test Canvas features for other AI chat apps like ChatGPT or Gemini. You can view those videos with the link on the screen or in the description. But the first thing you might notice is the K2 model appears a bit slower. To generate the landing page for this prompt took about 11 minutes total. It's a pretty nice design. These LLMs like ChatGPT and Gemini seem to like the color purple, at least in my experience with those other videos that I've done. Kimi K2 has added some nice features like the call to action button at the top with the animation this pulsing animation that highlights it's a free download for a limited time this animation for another call to action to download the free pdf it has some cool hover features for these cards the page highlights these numbers meant to appeal to the viewer and a list of benefits with these green check marks it has a form with error handling, so if I just click on download free PDF, it notifies me to fill out this field. And there's the footer at the bottom for navigation. But check this out, on its own, Kimi K2 has given us ideas for other marketing assets we can create, like this tool directory, marketing calculator, RI tracker, and content planner. Here's another example where I'm asking Kimi K2 to, with its researcher feature enabled, how I would create a make.com workflow to produce microblogging social media posts whenever a new video is posted on a specific YouTube channel. I answer its clarifying questions and it begins searching the web. The model searches various sites for high level information. Then it refines the search for specific examples. And even visit specific web pages to scrape relevant information. You can see the relevant links on the side and click into them to view the content yourself. It continues taking steps to complete the task, but you don't have to stay on this tab. Depending on the task and the topic, it can take hours. When it finishes researching, it generates an in depth report that includes each step to set up the workflow. There are sections clearly shown with subsections. There's even a table that presents each of the options available. It even gives us an interactive report. When I click on preview, we see a more visually appealing interactive web page generated in HTML. This is a format that is much easier to digest than a wall of text. Now remember, this is from one prompt 
with Kimmy K2 asking follow-up questions. In the top left corner, we have a menu, which is actually a table of contents. So we can click on any section and it'll bring us to that section. So we'll go back up to the top and look at the different components. So there's a nice header section here that tells us what it includes, the key components for the workflow, supported platforms, easy to read, the workflow overview and the core components with a diagram. Lots of folks are visual people, so this will help. We have the YouTube channel and then it flows to a trigger checking if there was a new video uploaded, then it extracts the video data, creates the content, formats the post content, adds hashtags or mentions, and posts to each platform. The four pillars or four components of the workflow, the trigger, data extraction, content creation, and action, critical success factors, setting up the YouTube triggers with the two different options, breaking each option down by these following factors and then the key considerations as well as implementation benefits for each option and the recommended approach which is the YouTube data API method that is what I agree with then it goes into extracting the video data what data you can actually extract from the YouTube videos URL construction, data quality assurance, creating the actual content to post in the various platforms, using advanced Python scripting for dynamic description, truncation with logic, post template, platform specific optimization, different modules or methods depending on the platform to which the content will be posted with an example here, platform selection strategy, other key considerations and best practices. Look at these icons here. This is, this is pretty good. Production readiness checklist with the technical requirements, compliance and monitoring, long-term success factors with an implementation roundup and different phases. Now using a simple prompt, we'll try building a 3D driving simulator like this one we built with Gemini in AI Studio. If you want to see that video, click the link on the screen or in the description. Again, it's not anywhere near as fast as Gemini, but a lot of developers seem to prefer Kimi K2 over Gemini and even Claude. For a one-shot prompt, the rendering of the vehicle is better, but the rendering for the landscape is nowhere near what Gemini 2.5 Pro produced. You'll need to provide more requirements and additional prompting. But folks say they'd stress tested it and have run 100 prompts concurrently. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.